For this project, we will be creating a creepy zombie hand. To begin drawing your zombie hand, you're going to first very lightly trace your hand in pencil. Then you're going to take your time kind of refining the shape of your fingers and making a little bit easier to see because my pencil was extremely light. Draw a wrist as well. Now we're gonna add some nails. I like to start by drawing the bottoms of the nail beds first, and then after I will go ahead and draw the sides and the tops. This is where we get to start making things a little gross and funky. If you're going to have any exposed bones, it helps to kind of look at your fingers and actually see kind of where the bones are in your fingers. It's helpful to have a diagram of hand bones to look at as you are drawing certain parts of exposed bones in your hands. So have fun with this, be creative, think of all kinds of different stuff that you could add. You can add bandages, band-aids, stitches, spider webs, worms, whatever you so desire to make your zombie hand look extra special. When you are done, you're going to use a skinny Sharpie to outline whatever you have included before we start coloring. The first step when I color is to color little tiny sections very lightly until everything is covered with a nice, even, light layer of color. After I create an initial layer of light color, I will go back with the same color and color in a different direction in areas where I feel like maybe it's a little lighter to kind of try and even out the value. Then I will take a different color and I will start layering other colors over the initial color to kind of create some gradients. Some areas I'll make a little bit darker, but I try and transition it smoothly into the first color. After you have a base layer of light color, now it's time to add some shadows and highlights. So using my different colors, I am going to look at my hand and see where the shadows are. Usually the light does not hit the sides as much as the tops, and so I'm gonna go in and kind of make all of those areas darker. Highlights are important too, so you have high areas on your hands, kind of where your, I don't know if they're ligaments or veins, connect to your bones. And so those are going to be a little bit lighter. So I'm adding a little more shadow in between those and then using an eraser to kind of make them even just a little bit lighter. Now anything that's kind of inside that's deep or has something overlapping it, there's going to be some cast shadows. So think of adding a cast shadow to anything that has something over the top of it, right around the edges. And then in between the bones, anywhere where it would be extra deep, there's going to be hardly any light getting in there. 
So there's those areas are going to be dark as well. And I again am just kind of overlapping different colors and adding a little black around the edges. Using these color and value techniques should help you get a more realistic looking hand that has the illusion of three dimensions. Happy coloring!